Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Thanks. Where did the name come from? Double A? Mm hmm. So, of course, my name's Aaron. Mm -hmm. So that's where Double A come from. Mm -hmm. But it's spelled different because when I went to copyright my name, the regular way, D O U B L E dash A was already taken. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I can't copyright that. So how I'm gonna spell it? You know what I'm saying? I gotta spell it different. Mm -hmm. So that name is really like a, a convers conversational starter. Like, is it Duba? Ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? Is it Duba? Is it. You know what I'm saying? So, Dubba, AA, you know what I'm saying? So, it was just a dope way to, you know what I'm saying, to have people talking. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And a lot of people will talk. Like, how do you say it before yeah, I say it? Because I was it messing it up, but he said it right off the rip. Yeah, yeah, most so, of. So, I was like, yeah. but it makes sense. Yeah. Well, I've been Double watching, and, watching yeah. and looking him up and seeing yeah. what me and said. I'm listening and looking and trying to make sure yeah, most that of. we, uh, you know, definitely don't leave nothing mm -hmm. out. You and know? did it come out in college? The, the name? Nah, so my cousin gave me that name when we was kids. So when I was in the group, right, before we was in the group, shout out to Chris the Great. And um, <laughs> my name, she was like, I'm going to call you. She was joking. I'm going to call you Double A. I was like, cool. I stuck with it. And then she was like, I'm going to call his little, uh, her little brother. I'm going to call you CeeLo. She was joking. You know what I'm saying? We thought, we didn't know who CeeLo was at the time. So it was Double A and CeeLo. And then we realized it was like CeeLo, like from Dungeon Family, CeeLo. CeeLo Green. So he had to change his name to H2O because he flows like water. Then that didn't <laughs> stick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then he went to Chris the Great. You know what I'm saying? But I always kept my name. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I just had to later on, like once I kind of got some money, I had to copyright, copyright my name, it. and that's what I came up talk, with. Let's talk a little like bit it. about Double A Day. Yeah, um, what what that means to you, and just kind of how that all came about. Double A Day is honestly probably one of my most prized days because it's on my birthday. One. Double A Day is definitely on my birthday. Check it, man. Money Moses in the building, oh, man. We oh, give him a grand entry, my nigga. The nigga come late, but he, hey, but he here. Hey, that's, that's all my that co-host right there, man. Don't play, man. That's he all really that the one. He love the music yeah. too. And I appreciate he from, that. He from Louisiana, so okay. You yeah, know, at the end of the day, man, I just gotta make that announcement every nah, time nah, he show for up sure, late, for nigga. Sure. Everybody know the nigga was late. I try yeah. to make sure they know that. Yeah, you know, know that, this bro. nigga might yeah. just show up anytime. You know? Hey, that's all that matters. <laughs> I ain't never let him go though, nigga. Don't yeah. think he ain't gonna have a job. You know what I'm saying? I'm all gonna be here. My kids in the car, so we got What? Yeah. Wow, yeah, that we, nigga is wanting to meet you, bro. His yeah, kids man, in the car, in. nigga. Stop we playing. In, man, That's why sure. you hear a nigga, hey, you go hard for the kids, too. Yo. <laughs> you done had Yo. kids, so you you know. So I, I just want to know about the, no, like the double A day, like just um um when when it came about and, and and I know you talked about the book I heard you talk about the backpacks and just mm -hmm. doing and that's what really matters man because that's really important to be able to give back most people most you know good. they don't understand that that's how you really really start to grow Facts. you know anytime you see people that's done made it to the top man you're gonna hear about like like my boy Robert Smith y'all don't know but he in Austin Texas let me go and just plug that in richest black man in America really to me okay. Robert he played paid that money at Morehouse for all the okay. kids yeah stop playing he in Austin Texas so what I'm saying is giving back is real important. It's big. It it makes you go up further and further. So I loved when I heard that about you. Yeah, man, it's it's something that I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Just because being in South Florida, we don't really have too many entertainers. We got a lot of football players, Matt Elam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the Elams and you know what I'm saying? I went to school with a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like Scotty Barnes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He just came in the league, you know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, Jacoby Brissett, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I literally, like, rub shoulders with these guys, like, as a youngin', okay. you know what I'm saying? But they give back in a different way. So I know a, a lot of kids want to be entertainers, too. So to see myself in them, you know what I'm saying, when I give back, I give the 500 to 1,000 book bags, free wow. haircuts, free food. I have a Fund the Family initiative That's dope. because I know – when my dad left, you know what I'm saying, my mom, she had to go to school. You know what I'm saying? She had to had the two jobs, and I was, you know, she, she was kind of struggling. So, like, every year I have a raffle where I go in there, whoever got the ticket, I pay your rent for one month. You know what wow. I'm saying? So I do little stuff like that, and I have a, a contest as well where the third-place winner gets uh, 250 Okay. Second-place winner get $500. first place winner get 1000 and they come to wherever I'm at. And have a studio session with me. I take them out wow. to dinner and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just to let them know, like, 
whatever you aiming for is possible. It's you know possible. What made you start doing all of that? What made me start doing that? Yeah. Honestly, the music is going to stop at one point, right? Nothing lasts forever. So I want my legacy. That's what I'm doing it for right now. Everything that I'm doing is about legacy. You know what I'm saying? Once I'm gone, what will stand? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got people like DJ Screw. Yeah. Like, his legacy is forever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do I want to be known for? You know what I'm saying? Not just the nigga who got the chains and the teeth and all of that. I want to be able to have double A day every year on my Dope. birthday. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. people can know, like, well, he came from here. He did this, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with going to school and, you know, being a part of different organizations and, and doing certain little things. You know what I'm saying? I, I do stuff for my my last name now. Do you, have a, do you have a double A day on the same day every day? I mean, every year? Every year. Yeah, well, it all depends. You know, the way the day change, fall, yeah. But, like, like this year is gonna be on the twenty third. That's the Saturday. My birthday on the twenty fourth. So last year was on the twenty fourth, but now it's gonna be on the twenty third. Uh, so I think you should keep it on one day, one specific day. So when they know that they come around, they know you coming. But let me ask you this though: What if it's on a Wednesday? Yeah, it don't matter. It's what you, your legacy. Okay, that's what you saying is your legacy. So keep it on your legacy. Don't matter what day it is. Your legacy. You came for that day. That day only. Well, it is in the summertime. Yeah, <laughs> it is in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's kind of hard when people got jobs and you that's know like what I'm saying. Make it during the evening. Like it don't matter. People don't have jobs regardless. But it's, like a, whole day, though, yeah, right? it's, it's a, a whole day though, right? It's a whole day. The trade day. I got, trade I got, day I got, the same way. In, I got in the Houston. keys to two cities, so I do one. You know, it's kind of like you know being in. Atlanta and then okay. on the outskirts of Atlanta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I go to one part half of the day and then I do the other half, right. the, the big concert in the main city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's the only problem. You know what I'm saying? That's the only problem. But but I think it's out. dope that you even doing it, man. That's a big deal for me. Like yeah. that's the whole game when you get to a certain level, man. You got to be able to show that, hey, man, you care about what goes on with who's coming behind you for, for sure and what's going on in the community. Fact. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.